Hello, this is Maker Jar 101, and I just wanted to thank all of you guys out there who have um, served in the military or are in the military, veterans, um, or sacrificed your lives for this great country of America. Um, so thank you very much. Just wanted to thank you guys all for that and wish you all a happy uh, Memorial Day. So, and then I'll just uh, do a quick video of the projects here. So I just, um, at Hack Pittsburgh, I just turned this nice um, pulley on the lathe. The other day, well, this is actually the first thing I've returned on a lathe, and this is just a um, plumb bob. I didn't make a hole for the string yet, but that's a plumb bob. So, but that's the first thing I've returned. And this lathe does have a, it basically has two cross feeds. Um, so there's the feed that goes this way. So if you have the spindle here, <clears throat> so if this is the spindle over here where you put your uh, material, you have your one. Your, uh, I guess it's the travel or something. Then you have your cross feed that goes this way, and then this one has a third axis that is variable, and it's called a compound, um, compound something, compound feed. Uh, I forget what it's called, but that's what the turret's mounted on. So you can angle that at any angle, and if you like angle it this way, then you can cut a perfect um, angle like this. It's really nice. I really like it. The only problem with the laser lathe is it's really, really, really worn out, and um, it needs some work. But it's just kind of been, I don't know, yeah. So it needs some work. But um, and then I turned this nice pulley out of one of my ingots that I cast. So this has got three different grooves on there, and uh, it's pretty nice. But you can see that. The aluminum quality is not the best. It's got some like it was really gummy. It was really gummy up the tools and stuff. But you can see there some of the slag got in there. I was gonna make it a lot heavier, and I would have made it a lot heavier. But this was all full of slag in here that I had to cut out, so it made it a lot lighter. But it turned out pretty good for my second second thing I ever turned on a lathe. But it used to be an ingot like that. And then I was also poking around at the high voltage power supply. Oh, and I also got the pulse furnace running. Um, and I have a video of that in the works, but right lately I have not been into editing real r at all, so um, I'll try to get that out soon, a video of that, but I was starting to look into reverse engineering the circuit board on here so I can figure out how it works, because it uses some kind of interface connector, so I have to figure out how this thing works, but but yeah, so there'll be videos coming, I'm just not, not into editing right now. Um, Probably this week sometime I'll have some time to get editing, but um, but yeah, up until then, happy, more, 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 bleh, happy Memorial Day guys, and um, keep experimenting.